Alright boys, so today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to attempt to create a clothing reselling brand in 30 days. Yeah, let's go. Now, I understood this was not going to be easy, so I called upon my friend Ollie to help. Ollie has gained years of knowledge and experience. He runs his own Depop store as well as having his own online website. But first off, I needed to find a source, someone who could actually sell me these clothes at a good and affordable price so I can actually make a profit off them. Luckily, I had the power of Ollie, which meant I was able to use one of his sources, meaning my stuff literally came within two or three days. We've got both the boxes here. So, what I've ordered is the clothes which I personally, I would wear myself. So I've gone for, I've ordered 42 pairs of Carhartt sort of trouser cargo, sort of denim. What you say, like denim jeans cargo? So yeah, like denim like jeans cargo. Yeah, effectively, we've got 42 of these up in here. What I'm planning to do with this, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be heading to a pop-up this Sunday, which is, we're going to be documenting for you guys. We're going to just try and get as many of these sold this Sunday. And then after that, I would then be listing them up onto Depop. And we can see what we do online. But for now, We've got to open these up and get these ready for the pop-up. Here's a well known fact, man. We've been getting money since getting money. And we still getting money, baby. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Fresh out of block with a This is the sort of aftermath after um after sort of unpacking all the boxes. Right, so now we're actually going to be tagging up the items for the pop-up on um on Sunday. That's gonna take a bit of time, but we've we've got quite a lot of clothes to go through here. Okay, I have just finished tagging all of these items, and as you can see, we've got we have got quite the pile. It doesn't even look like that much. There is so many clothes, I promise you. All of these ones over here, they haven't actually got any labels on, so I'm gonna leave those for the morning, get a tape measure out for them. But these are all ready for the pop-ups. All I've done for the tags, nice and simple. I've just put the price and then obviously the sizings, and I've just put it so it hangs right next to the logos. I've got to say, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed for my first batch. This is very good. So I've managed to calculate it. I've paid twelve pounds per each individual piece. That means if I'm selling each piece for thirty-five pounds at the pop-up, I should be making twenty-three pounds profit per piece I sell. I'm very, 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 very happy with the. Uh, the battery picked up. All we have to do now is um, go to the pop-up and sell it. Perfect. Okay, now this was sh I fully understand that. I completely understand. This was terrible. In all fairness, it was located in the back of some like trailer park. It was completely hidden and I have no idea how anybody was meant to find it. From here, I decided we needed to move online. This meant going on platforms like Depop or Vinted, as these were platforms I've used in the past and I'd actually bought clothes from there. I sort of knew how the apps would work and I sort of knew what to expect. The big difference when choosing between Depop or Vinted, or if you want to do it like me and just sell on both, the big difference is that Depop, once you sell an item, you have to then go on an external sort of courier and go on to Every or Royal Mail, for example. Not only this, Depop also takes away a small percentage fee as well, obviously gonna take away from your balance at the end. And you you have to also keep in mind that you're paying for the shipping so it's like a, almost like a double sort of fee if you think about it now the big difference is vinted has no fees meaning you get 120 well 100 of, of all of your profits it's easy not only this when a buyer buys from you their shipping label is automatically sent to your emails or just on the vinted app and then you can go ahead and print it at home or go to a local texco or spa and they have little machines where you put in a number and bang print your label on your clothes so easy so now that i decided i wanted to to choose both Depop and Vinted, I now needed to start the uploading process. Now, uploading the photos takes so, so long, like so long. I actually have no idea. I keep saying this, I obviously had the help of Ollie. Luckily, Ollie's been doing this for years, so he has two absolute fuck off studio lamps, which were like massive. Also a little rollout sort of white background mat as well, which enables us to take very, very nice photos. However, from here as well, you also have to edit the photos. Now, don't worry, there's a very, 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 very simple way of doing this. There's an app called Photo Room. All you have to do is select the photo of the clothes you've taken, and then it will automatically remove its background. Feel free to put in a white background, a red background, whatever. Feel free to play with it. I know a lot of people on Depop, especially, they use a white back background as it just looks very clean and it's quite generic. And that's personally what I decide to do, more also because I'm quite lazy. Use Photo Room, it's completely free. Free. I've never paid a penny for it. It's so, so, so useful. It saved me so much time. Now I've done the listing part, I needed to work on my descriptions. I know you're thinking, 
the fuck like the script is like, it's not that hard you just write fucking jumper bang posting the price can't be that hard people actually care about the descriptions like it's ridiculous for the first two days i listed up on depop i remember i had a shitty little description for all my trousers where i would just literally have the name the size and the price and it was so simple and so vague people really appreciate buying from people you need to really go properly deep into these descriptions i'll put up mine on the screen right now it's very it is very simple still especially compared to a lot of other sellers at the end what i feel is really like you know eye-catching and what helps people feel free to ask any questions free shipping all this it put in that sort of like disclaimer area it definitely definitely makes uh, people notice and they definitely take that into account before purchasing I definitely think that's a thing so descriptions are very important and describing your item correctly because if you don't do that you're gonna get some annoying teenager who wants to send their clothes back and it's not gonna look good you're gonna get a bad review reviews these are fucking important these are so important on your first sort of month of selling on any on any platform you do not want a bad review trust me you do not want the first sort of like couple most recent reviews you have to be negative you do not want them to be anywhere under five stars oh last week yeah i sent off this carhartt zip up jumper to this girl it was every and it was like the lead it was literally the lead up to christmas i sent it out on the 23rd and i was busy it's fucking christmas like i the fact i even sent out on the 23rd is a fucking honor and i'm getting messages all of christmas day from this girl being like where is this jacket and i'm like sorry bro postman pat doesn't work on fucking christmas i was seconds away from getting a negative review because this lady almost wanted to refund my item all i did was just be super nice in the messages saying i'm so sorry for the inconvenience but then you just sort of very nicely explain i'm not the fucking postman anyway you just need to try and be as nice and as understanding with people as you can be and you won't get any bad reviews okay now the final part i want to talk about about the whole sort of selling clothes experience is the packaging and stocking actually stocking your clothes is so or at least for me i didn't think about it. i was just thinking oh, i'll just chuck it in a fucking cupboard it'll be fine and that's what i've done however it was very 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 messy in the first couple weeks and when people were buying items i genuinely couldn't find shit i couldn't find anything i think once i sent off the wrong item yeah i actually haven't heard back from that guy yet. i'm just sure he's not happy this was such a stupid mistake i'd done when i first bought my stock now i've fully transformed my wardrobe into this sort of stocking machine and uh yeah you just want to make sure all your stock is in a place where you know where everything is you sort of want to categorize stuff as well i found that's quite useful finally shipping the actual packaging is not hard to find i'm literally going to put a link in the description down below to some easy 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 packaging i found very fucking cheap and it's good value for the money considering you're going to be making it back off literally one sale as i said all you have to do with depop is go to an external courier like every or royal mail and you just go onto the website and it's very simple you just buy postage it's a very well known thing i'm sure most of you've done it before for different circumstances and then on vinted all you're going to do is literally just see that email send it off to your laptop print it off bang or go into the store and actually just have it labeled printed and put on for you once you've done that take your tracking number and you add it if you're on depop you can add it to the sort of information about the sale or if you're on vinted you actually don't have to add one you can message them the tracking if you want on vinted you there is an option to just track the parcel on the app so you really don't have to do that from there postman pat is the rest of the job you you're done right there so from the first couple weeks on depop we were able to make 120 whether on vinted i was able to make 260 pounds now i wouldn't use this to decide if you're going to use vinted or depop however definitely take it into consideration because for me who's selling slightly cheaper yet still luxury items i suppose i think vinted is definitely going to be the place where it'll be received a lot better however you'll notice on vintage you probably get quite a lot of a lot of people wanting it for cheap and they'll send you offers for it which um you're not going to be able to accept because you will need to make a profit still obviously keep this in mind but um i thought that way you guys gain a little insight of just to see how how it can sort of gain you money from the first couple weeks of doing it and obviously this is going to be something which i'm going to be obviously it's a part of my life now it's just going to be documented naturally so anyway yeah i just wanted to make this video to give you guys a bit of a better idea for anyone who doesn't really know about vintage or depop so I'm still getting into it. I am still very much documenting my sort of progression with it all. After a month, you know, I still, I sort of feel like there can't be that much more to learn, right? Like I felt I've got to the point where I can make a video on it. Anyway, I hope you pussies enjoyed and um, if you're not making money, what the fuck are you doing?